John Huss lost his life when he put God first. What can we learn from John Huss today to help us put God first in our own lives? In the 14th century, the Roman Catholic Church sold indulgences to families who wanted a guarantee that their loved ones were in heaven rather than burning forever in hell. Persecution was certain for anyone who challenged the authority of the church, and especially the Pope. The papacy had become the apocalyptic beast described in the Bible. During this dark period of human history, John Huss spoke openly in Prague about the lies and defended the truth as found in God's word. Even in exile, he continued to put God first. When the Council of Constance assembled, Hust was asked to be there and present his views. When he arrived, he was immediately arrested and put in prison. He was eventually taken in front of the council and asked to renounce his views. He replied, I would not, for a chapel of gold, retreat from the truth. On July 6, 1415, he was burned at stake for hearsay against the doctrines of the Catholic Church. As he was burning, he could be heard singing psalms. Today, we are constantly challenged to compromise our beliefs in small and large ways. God continues to invite us to commit to the truth, no matter what. This commitment will always require us to put all that we are and have at Jesus' feet. While it might simply represent an inconvenience for most of us, it may sometimes even lead to persecution and death. We are blessed with the stories of men and women who sacrifice their earthly comfort for the mission given to the church by Jesus. The good news of salvation might not have reached us if it weren't for their courage and determination. Now it is our turn to put God first by denying self and fulfilling his mission. John Huss put God first, even when it cost him everything. His courage inspires us today. Jesus gave up everything to redeem us, and his love compels us to put his kingdom first in our own lives. As we return our tithes and promise, we are challenged to put God first.